The fine folks over at FanDuel have released their updated Heisman betting odds for the 2024 Heisman Trophy winner. And, of course, some SEC names at the top of the list. Guys, I think there's some value to be played here. I I really do. When you're talking about placing an early bet, right, it's just January. But, of course, never too far to look ahead, never too early to talk about the Heisman Trophy and, of course, the college football season There is a lot of fun value here. And I think you think about what each of these players has returning. Of course, we feel like it's a quarterback-driven award at this point. It's the best quarterback on the best team. Although, although, last year we saw Jaden Daniels on a 9-3 and football team, which I feel like very, very rarely happens. But when you have the type of season he had... It speaks for itself why he was the Heisman Trophy winner. So, guys, let's run through these odds really quickly because, again, I think there's some really interesting value. And, of course, there are a plethora of SEC names specifically at the top of this list. Starting off, guys, Quinn Ewers and Carson Beck, a pair of SEC signal callers, plus 750 in the Heisman Trophy odds. And, again, guys, they have the best odds to hoist the trophy when it's all said and done. And I think, guys, you look, a pair of quarterbacks expected to lead their respective teams to the college ball playoff. And again, it's a 12-team playoff, right? It's a 12-team playoff. So I think we both strongly feel that Texas, Georgia, they are playoff locks entering the 2024 season or nearly playoff locks, if you will. Going through the rest of this list, you got Dylan Gabriel, plus 1,000. Will Howard at plus 1,200. Jalen Milrow at plus 1,200. Nico, I'm not even going to try to say the last name, guys. I'm just not there yet. I'm not there yet. Nico's at plus 1,500. Garrett Nussmeyer at plus 1,800. Jackson Arnold at plus 1,800. Jackson Dart at plus 1,800. Arizona quarterback Noah Fafita at plus 2,000. Connor Wegman at plus 2,000. Riley Leonard, who's now at Notre Dame at plus 2,000. Cameron Ward, the now Miami quarterback, is plus 2,000. DJ Uyunglele, who's now at Florida State, plus 2,500. What a journey for him. Cade Klubnick at Clemson, plus 3,000. Brady Cook, plus 3,000. Drew Bilar, plus 4,000. Jalen Daniels, plus 4,000. Shadur Sanders, plus 4,000. Will Rogers, former Mississippi State quarterback, plus 5,000. Avery Johnson, plus 5,000. Guys, I'm going to start just going through the notable names here. Cam Rising, plus 5,000. Uh, Trevor Etienne, how about this? Former Florida running back, now at Georgia, is plus 6,000. Travis Hunter over at Colorado, he's plus 7,500. Max Johnson, former Texas A&M quarterback, now at North Carolina, he's plus 10,000. Luther Burden over at Mizzou, he's also plus 10,000. K.J. Jefferson, former Arkansas quarterback, now Down there in Orlando with Gus Malzahn at UCF. He's plus 10,000 as well. Former Texas A&M wide receiver Evan Stewart. Now at Oregon, he is plus 10,000. Quinshawn Judkins, former Ole Miss. A lot of former SEC players on this list as well. Uh, But former Ole Miss running back Quinshawn Judkins now at Ohio State. He is plus 12,000. Let's see. Brock Vandegrift, Kentucky quarterback at plus 12,000. Getting some odds. How about that? 21 career passing attempts, and Brock Vandegrift has Heisman Trophy odds. Isn't that something? Uh, Graham Mertz, how about this Florida quarterback? Graham Mertz at plus 15,000 on the list. Uh, Let's see, any more? Isaiah Bond now with Texas, plus 18,000. And the list goes on and on, guys. You You can, how about this? You can literally get Heisman Trophy odds on Peyton Thorne. Plus 25,000. If you throw money on Peyton Thorne, God bless you to win the Heisman Trophy. You must just have money to throw away. And if you do, leave a super chat, leave a super comment. I think it'll go a lot longer way than throwing money on Peyton Thorne to win the Heisman. How about New South Carolina running back Rocket Sanders? Plus 30,000 Heisman Trophy Odd. So again, guys, as you look back at this list, and again, the SEC is well represented with some of the top talent in the conference registering Heisman Trophy odds going into the year. Let's first start at the top. And you talk about bets and safe bets, what are best bets, what have you. 
you know, I, I think in this scenario, you like to look down the list and say, okay, where's the best value, right? I mean, if you'd have cashed in a ticket on Jaden Daniels last year, you did really, really well for yourself. And I, I don't think, you know, I think a lot of folks looked around and, and thought he could have an all-conference type season and Jaden Daniels could build off of what he did in 2022. I'm not sure anybody saw a Heisman Trophy type of season coming for Jaden Daniels, especially guys when you look at LSU as a 9-3 and three football team. I feel like that never happens in the modern day and age of college football where, you know, it's normally you're the best player on the best team in the country. To win the Heisman Trophy on a team that did not even make the college football playoff, that really screams to how special his 2023 season was. But again, you look at these odds. You start at the top, guys. Carson Beck and Quinn Ewers, you cannot go wrong betting on either one of those guys. And I want to specifically focus on Carson Beck, guys, because Carson Beck, for me, we got about halfway through the 2023 season. And, you know, there was some chatter about this. You know, maybe Carson Beck, throw some coin on him. He's a pretty good play for the 2023 season and was certainly a major unknown in that Georgia offense. I think what Georgia, though, guys, fell victim to in 2023 to a degree was their own expectations. Like, like the expectations were so high for Georgia. Like, they couldn't win by enough. Because when you're at that level and you won back-to-back -back national championships, it's not about, are you the best team that Saturday? Are you the best team in the SEC East? Or are you even the best team in the SEC? Georgia's season and each of their performances were measured by, are you good enough to win a third consecutive national championship? And so... They couldn't win by enough. They could not score enough. And so Carson Beck, it felt like, guys, no matter how well he played, and by the way, I think Jaden Daniels was the correct choice for the Heisman Trophy last year. I want to get that out there. But no matter how well Carson Beck played, it was almost like he could not get the respect I feel like he deserved. Go back and look at the numbers, guys. I mean, Georgia either led or was second in the SEC – in passing yards per game. He was phenomenal for Georgia. He was fantastic. And you look at a safe bet, and guys, we've been talking about this over the last couple of weeks, Georgia's going to be on a mission this upcoming season. They were a lot for the 12-team college football playoff. I would expect them to be hosting in the first round. Like, Georgia's as safe a bet, in my opinion, to win the national championship or at least get to the national title game as anybody out there. I think there's more parity than there's ever been in college football. But we might be seeing this year Georgia being number one and there being a slight gap. Because I, I think the Bulldogs, I'll say this, and I'll say this, and I'll say it yet again, and Michigan fans, I don't care how you feel, Georgia was the best team in college football last year. They chose the worst possible Saturday to play their C-minus game, and it cost them, sure. But Georgia was the best team last year. I think they're more than likely going to be at minimum one of the best teams. Arguably the best team in 2024. And typically, guys, the quarterback of the best team in the country a lot of times wins because I think Carson Beck will dazzle yet again. He's got an embarrassment of riches around him in regards to talent, in regards to offensive firepower. I expect the dogs to be dominant yet again. And Carson Beck will be the man who's steering that ship, if you will. Quinn Ewers at Texas, guys. Kind of same thing for Quinn Ewers. They're going to be a 12-team playoff team, in my opinion. Uh, I, I expect Quinn Ewers to put up big-time numbers. And also, too, iron sharpens iron, guys. He's got Arch Manning waiting in the wings. Like, Quinn Ewers cannot take a seat back or put this thing in cruise control. I, I think he would be a safe bet as well for a lot of the same reasons that Carson Beck is a safe bet. Do you dare throw coin on Jalen Milrow? I, I can't believe, honestly, guys, how high his odds are. Like, Because the only, again, I don't think we're going to see a Heisman Trophy winner on a 9-3 and three team. The one thing I will say, the one thing I will say in favor of Jalen Milrow, you know, I don't like the fact how much turnover there is and there's so much uncertainty and they've been gutted by the portal. But I tell you this, of all the guys on this list, who could have the type of season that a Jaden Daniels had last year, who's got that skill set, 
who could potentially have that type of year. If Jalen Milrow can progress as a passer and overall as a quarterback, right, he's got the athleticism to rush for 1,000 yards. If the passing side of things can improve, he could put up a somewhat similar stat line, right? Because the Heisman Trophy, different people will define it differently. Is it a statistical award? Is it a most valuable player? Is it a best player in college football? Like, what is it? But stats matter. I think Jay LaMilro could put up some gaudy numbers really because of his legs. And also now, guys, Ryan Grubb follows Kalen DeBoer to Alabama, follows him to Tuscaloosa. We all saw the Washington offense. I don't think Jalen Milrow is Michael Penix Jr., but I think they're going to have a lot of fun in that offensive system, in that offensive scheme. Guys, you, you look at the rest of the numbers. You know, this is about, you can, you can bet at the top. Where's the value, though? Who are some of these guys that are maybe slept on? I would ignore Brady Cook at plus 3,000. Not because I, I don't think he's going to have a good year, but I don't think he's going to put up Heisman Trophy kind of numbers. Connor Wegman, I think there's too much uncertainty there. And I think Texas A&M, more than likely, guys, is a, is a seven-win team, maybe eight at max. I just don't think they're going to have the type of season collectively where Connor Wegman could compete. How about Jackson Dart at plus 1,800, though? How about Jackson Dart? Guys, all the weapons he's going to have on the offensive side, Lane Kiffin calling the shots. Jackson Dart is primed for a massive, massive 2024 season, as is Ole Miss, right? Jackson Dart's going to have a lot of success. Ole Miss is more than likely going to have a lot of success. If Ole Miss goes 11-1 regular season, maybe they're competing for the SEC title. They're in the 12-team playoff. If they're having that type of year, which they've gone all in in doing so, now Jackson Dart should have the defense to compliment him and get him the football back more often. I like Jackson Dart plus 1,800, man. I, I, I strike that. I love Jackson Dart plus 1,800. I think that's a great value play, guys. That might be the best value play on this board. The last one I'll say, the last one I'll say, I'm surprised how high his odds are. Not because of the talent's not there, because it certainly is. But we've only seen him in one game, right? We, we've, we've seen a full body of work from Jackson Dart. We've only seen Nico in one game. But that one game was wildly impressive against the Iowa Hawkeyes. The reason you got to like Nico at plus 1,500, right? The reason you got to like him. He's in a quarterback-friendly offense. He's in a quarterback-friendly system. Josh Heupel's offense. And I've, I've seen some people on social media, by the way. Uh, Josh Heupel's a quarterback whisperer. What did he tell Joe Milton? Did he whisper to suck? Guys, Josh Heupel got every little bit he could out of Joe Milton. I think Josh Heupel was in a situation where you don't necessarily, no matter how talented, you don't want to thrust a true freshman into the line of fire, right? And Joe Milton, guys, let, let, let's be clear. He wasn't terrible. He just wasn't Hendon Hooker. And I think if you came into the 2023 season as a Tennessee fan or just an SEC fan with realistic expectations, right, for Joe Milton, then you probably say, yeah, he had a solid year. But if you came into the season with Hendon Hooker type expectations, well, you were left wanting more. I think the value, of course, is Nico had an opportunity to learn, to grow, to work on his game, to, to learn the offense even more so, and now he's ready to take over. Guys, I think Tennessee, realistically, is a college football playoff dark horse in 2024. I, I really do. I think Tennessee's a college football playoff dark horse, and if they're going to make a 12-team playoff, maybe Nico's a guy that balls out. He stacks the numbers, again, in a Josh Heupel offense. He's got... He's got Brew McCoy back. He's got Squirrel White back. He's got some elite weapons on the outside. Tennessee's done a pretty good job in the portal as well. You know he's going to have weapons around him. So, And Nico can do it with his legs. He can put up those numbers in the running game, and Tennessee loves to run the football. Now, how much do they run Nico? I don't know. I think they've got the ball carriers to where they don't have to necessarily. Like LSU last year, they had to ask Jaden Daniels to do it. Because Jaden Daniels was their running game. That's why that kid won the Heisman Trophy. He did it all, right? He was LSU's entire offense, practically, it felt like at times. I don't know that Nico's got to carry that burden, 
but because of his dual threat nature, he could put up big time flashy numbers. And again, if Tennessee has a 10 and two season, God forbid, if Tennessee has a double digit win season at plus 1500 could cash. So while I think the safe bet is obviously with Carson Beck, with Quinn Ewers, Jackson Dart, and maybe just maybe Nico, two dark horses, I think, to win the Heisman Trophy, to cash in on some value. So I ask you all, who's your pick? Who you rolling with? Where are you putting your coin when it comes to the 2024 Heisman Trophy odds?